question library is a central repository in the quiz tool that stores and archives questions which you can reuse within a course. You can create multiple sections within the question library to organize your questions by type and topic, making it easier for you to find questions for your quizzes, surveys, and self-assessments. As a best practice for storage, organization, and easy access, it's recommended that you create all your questions for your quizzes using the question library. To access the question library, select exam slash quizzes in the navbar. And then select question library. When using the question library, begin by creating a section. A section is a folder where questions can be stored and organized. To create a section, select New. And then choose Section. From here, begin by typing a title for the section, which will help you identify what type of questions will be stored here. Optionally, you can add a description for the section, and if you would like to hide the title or section text from students, you have the option to do so as well. In addition, you can also shuffle questions that are added to the section. When you are finished, select Save. To add questions to the sections you created, select the title of the section that you made. Then, Select New. And choose which type of question you would like to add. In this example, I'll select Multiple Choice. After you type your question and responses, you can add pre-generated feedback that the student will receive. If you have a multiple choice or multi-response type question, you can add this feedback for each potential response. If you add this feedback, make sure that you edit the settings in the quiz that this question will be added to so that students can see questions when their attempt is published. Otherwise, they will not be able to view that feedback. Instructions on how to make that visible is available in our quiz settings video, which is linked in the description. In addition to feedback, you can also provide a hint to the question for students. Like feedback, however, you will have to edit the quiz's setting to allow students to see hints. Once you are finished, you can choose the amount of default points that this question will be worth, and then select Save. If you wish to move questions to a new section, select the checkbox next to the question, and then choose Move. From here, you can choose the section this question will exist in. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn how to move questions from your library to a quiz, please check out the Creating a Quiz video in the link in the description.